Traditionally, social network analysis is encumbered by, uh, by the fact that it's difficult to get data because uh, basically traditional sociological analysis involves basically going to someone asking them, you know, who are the last 100 people you met with over the last year, uh, how often did you meet them, uh, and who are your friends, and so on. It's a lot of data collection, which is, uh, which is very costly in terms of survey, survey time. Uh, and so on. Um, more recently, though, uh, if you if you go go online now and you Google social network analysis, Facebook or social network analysis, Twitter, you would find a lot of enthusiasts trying to do something in this area, uh, drawing graphs or connecting people based on who is who's who's friend on Facebook and on Twitter and so on. Uh, personally, I I have done some. Uh, internal program evaluation type work doing this uh, for, for an organization taking it global. I'm doing a project when I'm analyzing how members of their community are forming groups to uh, organize events and, and to organize projects. Um, in open source as well, a um, good number of academics have studied how open source communities form, uh, are, are structured. Uh, and are linked together, how the members within an open source community are linked together using such techniques. The, uh, the, the increase in enterprise adoption of online collaboration tools also means that there's more data coming from that kind of source that, that could be analyzed. 